students, this is Dr. Anita Raj, your chemistry mentor, welcoming you for another session in chemical bonding. So today we are going to see shapes of some molecules containing bond pair only and that too based on VACPR theory. Okay. So shall apply VACPR theory to predict the shape of some uh, simple molecules, specifically those molecules which are having only bond pairs. Okay. So the first molecule which we are going to study is VE. L2, beryllium chloride. So we are going to predict the shape of beryllium chloride molecule based on BACPR theory. Okay. Actually, in BeCl2, where that is beryllium chloride, the beryllium is the central uh, atom. Okay, it is the central atom. So central beryllium atom it has the atomic number is four. Okay, and its electronic configuration is one s two, two s two. Okay. So this central beryllium atom in BeCl2 has two valence electrons. Okay, it has two valence electrons. So during the formation of this BeCl2, the two valence electrons are shared with the valence electrons of two chlorine atoms. The atomic number of chlorine, the atomic number of chlorine is 17. Okay, so this chlorine it requires one electron requires one electron to fulfill its octet. Okay, so this uh, chlorine it will be sharing its one electron with the beryllium and the two valence electrons are shared with the valence electrons of two chlorine atoms. Okay, so this is the structure of uh, BeCl2. So two single covalent bonds are formed between beryllium and two chlorine atoms. Okay, so this is a linear structure. This is a linear structure. Okay, and the bond angle between this beryllium and this chlorine atoms it is 180 degrees. Okay, it is 180 degrees. Actually, see here this beryllium it is sharing its two valence electrons with two chlorine atoms. It is sharing its two electrons with two chlorine atoms. And this chlorine atom it is sharing its one electron. And this chlorine atom it is sharing its one electron. Likewise. Two electrons are shared, two valence electrons of beryllium is shared with the two chlorine atoms. Okay. So thus, thus the central beryllium has two bond pair of electrons. Okay. It, this central beryllium is having two bond pair of electrons. Okay. So these two bond pairs they repel each other to the maximum extent. Okay. It will be repelling each other to the maximum extent and they will be getting oriented at an angle of 180 degree. Okay. That's why it is having a linear structure. Can you understand? So I hope you can understand why this beryllium chloride is having a linear shape. Okay, because the bond pair of electrons they are repelling each other to the maximum extent and they are getting oriented at an angle of 180 degrees. Okay, that's why it is having a linear structure. So the same type of explanation we can see for uh, beryllium chloride. Okay, beryllium chloride is also having the same type of structure and it's beryllium bromide. Okay, then zinc chloride. Okay, zinc chloride. These are all uh, some of the examples of this type, linear structure type. Okay. The next, we shall see the shape of a BF3 molecule. Okay. See that is boron trichloride. What is the atomic number of a boron? It is a five. Okay. And its electronic configuration is one s two, two s two, two p one. Okay. And let us that's of fluorine. It is nine. Okay. Okay. Right. So 1s2, 2s2, 2p5. You can understand. Now, in boron trichloride molecule, the central boron atom shares its three electrons. Okay, shares its three electrons with the valence electrons of three fluorine atom. See here, this fluorine it requires. It is having atomic number nine. It requires one more electron. Okay, this fluorine it requires one more electron. If it is getting one more electron, its octet will be filled. Likewise, this uh, boron, it requires three more electrons, okay, to attain its octet, okay, to attain its octet. So, in boron trichloride molecule, the central boron atom shares its three valence electrons with the valence electrons of three fluorine atoms, okay. Thus, we have three bond pairs of electrons, okay. See, as I told you earlier, this central boron atom it shares its three valence electrons. Okay, it, it, it shares its three valence electrons. Okay, it shares its three valence electrons with three fluorine atoms. Okay, 
we saw it is having three bond pair of electrons. So it is having three bond pair of electrons. Actually, due to mutual repulsion of these three bond pair of electrons, this molecule has a triclonal planar shape. Okay, so this is the triclonal uh, planar shape with the boron at the center and three chlorine atoms at the three corners of the triangle. Okay, and this has a bond angle of 120 degree. Okay, so this is having a bond angle of 120 degree. So the central boron atom it shares its three valence electrons with three fluorine atoms. Okay, this fluorine, uh, each fluorine it requires one one electron to complete its octet. So it it is sharing its electron with this, and this boron is also sharing its three valence electrons with the three fluorine atoms, and thus it is gaining a trigonal planar shape. The reason is there will be mutual repulsion between these three bond pair of electrons. So in order to minimize the mutual repulsion, these uh, bond pair of electrons are moved apart and thus we are having a trigonal planar shape with an angle of 120 degree. Can you understand? So other example of this type are BCl3, okay, BCl3, then aluminum trichloride. Uh, these these uh, examples come under this category, okay, right. Next is the shape of methane molecule. See, the atomic number of uh, carbon is uh, 6, okay. So, in the case of uh, methane, the central atom C is covalently linked to 4 hydrogen atoms, okay. It is uh, covalently linked to 4 hydrogen atoms, right. So, let me write the atomic uh, uh, electronic configuration of this carbon, 1s2, 2s2, 2p2, okay. So, it is having 4 valence electrons. The valency of carbon is 4. Okay. Now, in the case, so it requires 4 more electrons to complete its octets. Okay. So, in the case of methane, the central atom that is carbon atom is covalently linked to 4 hydrogen atoms and thus possesses 4 bond pairs of electrons. Okay. So, let us see the uh, structure of methane. See here, <coughs> in the case of methane, the central carbon atom is covalently linked to four hydrogen atoms. So, it is having four bond pair of electrons. Okay. So, these four bond pairs of electrons, they repel one another to a maximum possible extent. Okay. So, due to this, they get oriented to an angle of 109 degree in space and the molecule acquires a tetrahedral shape. Okay. So, the, the carbon atom is at the center of the regular tetrahedron with four hydrogen atoms at the four vertices. Can you understand? So, this is the structure of the methane, right? According to BACPR theory, the electronic repulsion between the bond pairs will be minimum if they are uh, as far apart as possible. So, on this basis, we have the following geometrical arrangement, that is tetrahedral arrangement. Can you understand? Other example of this type is uh, silicon tetrafluoride, then SiH4. So, these are the examples which are having this regular tetrahedral structure based on BACPF theory. Can you understand? The final one is the shape of PCL5 molecule. Okay. See, the phosphorus, its atomic number is uh, 15. Okay. Its atomic number is 15 and its electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p3. Okay. See here, the Phosphorus atom in phosphorus pentafluoride has five valence electrons. Okay, it has five valence electrons. Okay, so this phosphorus it shares its five valence electrons with five chlorine atoms. Okay, with the electrons of five chlorine atoms, and thus it has a five bond pairs of electrons. Can you understand? In order to have a minimum energy, the bond pair of electrons should be as far as apart from other. Can you understand? So, this is possible only if the molecule acquires a trigonal bipyramidal structure. Can you understand? So, let me show the structure of this uh, phosphorus pentafluoride. So, this is the structure of phosphorus pentafluoride, right? Actually, to have a minimum energy, so these bond pair of electrons should be as far as apart from each other. So, this is possible only if the molecule acquires this trigonal bipyramidal shape. Okay. In this geometry, all the bonded angles are not the same. Can you understand? See, this is the axial uh, bond. This is the axial bond and uh, these are the equatorial bonds. Okay. So, the axial bonds are of 90 degrees. Okay. 
this is of 90 degrees right and the bond angle of the tri a triangle plane of 120 degrees this is 120 degree and this is 90 degree so two axial uh, pcl bonds are these are the two axial pcl bonds and these are longer than the three equatorial uh, bonds okay so these two axial bonds are longer than the three equatorial bonds this is due to the fact that the axial bonds experiences a greater repulsion than other bonds so these axial bonds will be experiencing a greater repulsion when compared to the other equatorial bonds okay can you understand so these are the axial bonds and these are the equatorial bonds and the structure of this, this geometry is trigonal bipyramidal okay trigonal trigonal by pyramidal okay so this is the structure of pcl5 and other example of this category is pf5 phosphorus phosphorus pentafluoride then sbcl5 so these are all the examples of this category can you understand well fine students i hope you might have understood what i have taught today let me meet you with the other important topic that is how this VACPR theory explains molecules containing both bond pairs and lone pairs in the next session. Until then, it's Dr. Anitabha signing off from you. Thanks for watching.